Jimmy B. Yo, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? Good. We are back home from uh, eight days on the road. Um, yeah. You know, la- last week's episode we recorded in the green room of our uh, Tampa of the Tampa Bay Improv. Now That's we right. are back. We are back at home in our closets. Uh, in our closets. Uh, yeah. Which f- feels it's easier to get a video. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it is. Yeah, for sure. Um, but boy, did we have a great time on the road. Thank you to everybody that came out. Thank you to everybody that followed along at home, whether through social media or our Patreon page. Um, but boy, was it special to be in the room with you, friends. Thank you yeah, so, so much. It was so amazing to just get back in front of people and feel the energy and the love and the, everything else. It was just like the trip was amazing. We were in, in uh, eight, eight cities in eight days and we just drove, flew. We really had a great week on the road. It was really we, great to sp- spend time with you and Jeremy again, and just uh, it really it was. was. Awesome. It was yeah, awesome. and uh, we we made a conscious effort to try to feel as good as we could, which was really nice. We uh, we took care of ourselves better than we ever have. I think. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, we cooked pretty much every meal. Like which we, we which is m- might be funny to some people, but we did. Yeah, uh, yeah we did a good job, dude. Like, I think, I, I think so. You made um, some uh, amazing pancakes that we waited uh, about six months to taste and they were incredible. And we happened to be on the beach in Florida when you cooked breakfast, had yeah. a great, great coffee on the beach and then worked out. And then it was freaking go time for the pancakes <laughs> and they were incredible. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I, I, Jeremy and Steve both, they, um, they eat a lot. They eat a lot because they need a yeah. lot of fuel. Let's be real. Your muscles need fuel. And, sure. um, and so when the buildup to these, Jeremy kept asking, you're going to make a lot, right? You're going to make a lot. <laughs> totally. You're going to make a lot of these, right? All he keeps saying is volume, volume, volume. Right. I eat in volume. Man. Um, he ever. Yeah. It was great though. And you know, at, at, you know, at, at hotels, you rarely have the tools that you need to cook the way you want to cook. Sure. And so. You know, I was trying to make, mul- I was trying to use, do three pancakes on this one frying pan. Um, and then, the, then I got complaints about them being too small. And I was like, well, they're going to pile up, but he yeah. wanted a bigger. I, mean, listen, I didn't want silver dollar pancakes, bro. Sure. I would have eaten a hundred of those. So let's just make the one big one, another big one, but everybody, another j- big one. It, it kind of works a little bit. Like they're like, oh, just make one big cookie. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. it, it works a little, yeah. you know, like it, the, yeah. it's the smaller ones tend to be cooked a little more evenly. Um, yes, that's true. I, that's true. But it was great. Dude. Whatever yeah. your recipe was. And I know you've said it a million times to me and just text it to me. Cause it was incredible. Yeah. Jeremy asked me to text it to it. And, um, yeah. but I, I know, Amazing. um, I know somebody on our Patreon page, uh, made them and enjoyed them. So I don't know. We might be starting something here. Hey man, listen on the road. That's what we're eating all the time for breakfast. That and then we eat, I eat seven, eight egg whites with one egg. It's awesome. Half a cup of oatmeal. There you like go. Like old fashioned oats, not not um, not instant, and certainly yeah. not uh, steel cut. Cut steel cut. That would be yeah. terrible. Old fashioned oats. Half cup of that. Half cup of cottage cheese, whatever one you like, and two eggs. Blend it yeah. in the blender. And don't over blend it. And then you use that as the batter. It and was good can, because it kind of had a souffle thing inside. Well, because the eggs, right? Yeah, like, which is it, interesting, right? Yeah. So that's a different thing for a pancake, but it was awesome, dude. Yeah. And now some, you, what you could do in that, mm, you could take you could it a add. step further and put a scoop of protein in there. Sure could. And then you'd have protein pancakes right there. But I mean, between the cottage cheese and the oatmeal and the eggs, there's already a, a lot of protein in there. Yeah, not enough for me, but yes. Okay. That's why I have the eight extra eggs on the side, egg whites. So right, yeah, that gives that gives me about forty eight grams of protein. So it's good. Ooh. Plus the pancakes, yeah, amazing. Anyway, yeah. So great anyway, job, yeah. great Thanks, week man. on the road. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank ended you, in Nashville. Had a great show in Nashville. Yeah, man. And it was incredible. We got home. Bradford got home Saturday night. I stayed an extra couple of days. Saw my brother in law, which was awesome. And then I got home yesterday morning, and just back at it, buddy. Here we yeah, are, man. Um, but what was kind of fun, I forget whether it was Monday or Tuesday in Florida, we were in the car and all of a sudden Steve from the back seat says, Oh, I guess I got nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> yes. Was that on the way to, on the drive That's, to Tampa? Maybe was it Tuesday? Man, I don't, 
I honestly don't remember, dude. You know, on the on the road, it's all one yeah. day. Well, it was in the car, and we were it was in, the, in car. the car, so it yeah. had to be Tuesday morning. Yeah. So Linda, Linda texted me. She goes, "Congratulations on your Emmy." I'm like, "What?" And a what? nomination on the nomination. Yeah. I was like, "What?" Because I didn't know with the Emmys this year, everything's late. Deadlines yeah. were later. Judging was later. Yeah. The Emmys are later. We don't yeah. know what's going on yet. And I mm-hmm. really had no idea when the nominations were coming out. So it was a nice surprise to get that. I was in the backseat of our nice car and I got that text. And um, then I said, Hey, Bradford. He's like, yeah, I got, I got nominated for them. He goes, dude, that's awesome. And then that was pretty much it. So thanks. Um, yeah. So no, then I started getting some texts from people and then I found out who was nominated. All, we got a ton of nominations on our show, which is crazy. Yeah. A lot, like double, more than double of any other show, which was incredible. Yeah, that's super fun. It just makes, you know, the Emmy, Emmys is always just a, a wonderful celebration of of the whole community. Yeah. Um, but it is fun when you get a lot to root for for your own sure. you know, in, immediate family, which is nice. Yeah, it was great, dude. It's Listen, it's cliche. It's always great to get nominated. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just always fun to be in the game, whether you win, uh, whatever. It's it is what that is. Right. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Wally got nominated and. You know, Maurice had amazing, amazing material from last year with with uh, Max Gale again. Incredible. And I'm excited that, you know, Dom got nominated. So, right. That's the one I was like, oh, yeah. When I saw his name, I was like, yeah, sweet. Yeah. You know, because yeah. he's, he's a good dude and he works hard. And so um, and then, you know, we have t- Carolyn and Finola and Jeannie and Nancy. And then we got some kids. We got Sydney and we got. Uh, uh, Kate, Kate, Katie, Caitlin, McMullen. Caitlin, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have Taj. Uh, so right. it's like we have we have all these people. Uh, Jeff, right. and Brianna Jeff, too, right? Brianna, Jeff Cober. There's so many I can't even remember. Did each Jeff category. get nominated as a guest or supporting? Supporting, yeah. Wow. And I think there might have been more, dude. We're I'm totally, you yeah. Know, obviously, this isn't what we do for a living, right? Um, because we don't have a list in front of us. I know we could have done that. We could have done that. Yeah. But yeah. it's, it's awesome. And we're yeah. going to have, it's going to be great. Not sure what the Emmys are going to be this year, but we're all uh, happy that we're kind of back, back doing it. And I'll let you know as soon as I know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, one, one thing that just, uh, you know, one thing that we talked about over the week and um, one thing that I think is, is worth noting, especially when the nominations come out is, you know, sometimes people are like, wait, what, how come, what, um, and you had that reaction because you were like, oh, I, I didn't see, I, I expected Laura, you know, Laura always has great material. And you were like, oh, I'm surprised that she didn't get nominated. And then you found out that she didn't submit herself, which is something that I think is a worth reminding people that um, sometimes yes. the, the, the submission process is multi-pronged. It's not just, sure. uh, you have to put, you have to put yourself into contention by submitting material Correct. and then you're in the game, but some people decide not to. For some whatever people, reason, yeah, I've decided not to some years and just like, ah, no, I'm not right. going to do well, it. Because it, it. it's it's work. And, you well, know, it's like, work. And then at this point, like, look, if you don't have the good, like, you know, I felt like this year I pieced pieced enough together where I could maybe get nominated. I right. was definitely not planning on it because, right. you know, like we talk about the Emmy process all the time and how it changes so often where now it can just be kind of a, a sizzle reel of all your good work. Right. Right. So it doesn't have to be a, a two continuous, continuous shows. shows like it used to be where you go, yeah. Hey, if I didn't have two great shows, I, this is going to be difficult for me to get nominated. Right. You could right? literally pick eight different scenes from eight different shows, right? You could put it correct. It just couldn't could do anything. Certain, yeah. Couldn't be a certain amount of time. It couldn't be more than 20 minutes. Right. And, right. and Oof. every year this process for me, I don't like the process. Cause I don't, I don't earmark shows and I probably should, whatever, you know, Elizabeth right. Cordy, who's an integral writer and, and person at, at general hospital for years. I just call her up. I go, Hey, uh, do you remember any notable Highlights. shows? Yeah. Right. She goes, yes, here's all the show numbers. Then I go, awesome. And then Nika, uh, our other producer and Michelle Henry, another producer, uh, I say, they help hey, you pull that stuff. They, they help me pull the, sh- the shows. Then they give me the link. Right. Then I watch the shows. Are all of our shows available by link or do they have to make those available for you? They have to pull your stuff. Oof. Or or if they don't have time, because so many people were were not nominating themselves this year. 
right? right. Or putting themselves in the game. They'll just say, okay, it's show, you know, one, two, three, four, five, go find your scenes. And, and then do you earmark your scenes and then they, they I, splice I, it for you? Yes, I earmark the time. Well, because, because yeah, because otherwise. Then that, they that, splice it, then they splice it and give it back. And then you can watch the full thing as a run. And then you got to go, well, maybe this scene should be first. Then this one should be last. And then this oh. one should be here and there. And most people wait till the last minute. So right? they're so, just inundated with requests. Yeah. Inundated with requests. So I was just like, look, you pulled great scenes. Awesome. I'm, I'm ha- whatever. N- happy. You're never happy. doesn't matter. I said, I listen to what I did last year and the year before. I said, Michelle, just pick it. Sure. Pick, what, pick what you think. Just make the final cut. Right. And here's one thing I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be long. Right. I don't want it to be 20 minutes. Like, right. you know, as you, as you well know, Bradford, when you're judging, you know, within the first minute and a half, yeah. if this person is probably, if you're going to get, if you're going to vote for that person. Right. Right. So I yeah. said, just put, just don't make it long. Make it, I think this was the shortest one that I had, uh, Emmy tape all year or in my whole career. It was like eight minutes. Yeah. Or nine minutes. Right. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's enough. You know? Yeah. And then I, I didn't really expect to get nominated at all. So it's always great. You know, it's a great, um, it's just really cool. Oh, it certainly makes it fun when you're, uh, you know, well, and, and, and in normal times, you know, you get to, you know, participate in events with other friends. Like, it'd be fun if you guys had things to do. I know sometimes the leading women will do a lunch and stuff. I don't think the leading men have ever done like a lunch. Um, I don't know if they have, but really, you know, it's that night. I think yeah. it's or that day where you see all your friends from other shows. Yeah. That's kind of the cool part. That's the part Absolutely. that I miss. I'm getting right. used to dressing up now. Um, you are. I know you used is, to kind of resent it, but now you, yeah, I you're, did. Yeah, but but now I'm okay. So yeah, but but I, I miss that part of seeing people from other shows and, and right. Uh, do you uh, do you remember which? And you don't have to say which things specifically. People can find that on Gold Derby no, or whatever. I, I really don't. I don't really don't remember. And they might release those at some point of what yeah. I picked. You mean because it was so well, spliced together. Right. That I don't remember. I know someone was with Sonny and Max and was Sonny or Sonny. Yeah. Sonny and Mike and Sonny, not right. Cowboy Sonny, not Cowboy Mike, but Sonny Corinthos Ooh. and his dad, Mike, <laughs> who passed away on the show. You, so I had to, I had to clear that up. You know, what's funny. Um, I had to take out um, in one of my bits in the show. I, I, I do this kind of run of GH characters of that. um and about like P- my my wife and who on GH she could have married in the eyes of someone else running through sure, like sure, are you married sure. to this guy are you married to this guy are you married to this guy, and I would always go through the list and towards the end I would do like some of the older actors that would be like, least likely to marry a young sure. person like my wife, and I used to have Mike's name in there yeah, but now I can't because when they people say Mike they think of Cowboy Sunny <laughs> right they're like which Mike. Rich Mike. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, um, yeah, but yeah, whatever. So yeah. And I had some other stuff I think with, I had with Carly. Um, I remember it might've been uh, my speech at Mike's funeral. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, so I don't, you know, there's a bunch in there and was, I, don't really, was I don't really know what made it dude. Quite honestly. Was Sonny, yeah. Was Sonny's death in that calendar year too? It wasn't, it was in 2021. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. So then that's a whole nother, like that last year's stuff right. was whatever. So ne- next year you might have dead sunny stuff. Uh, yes, we will. Carly and I will have a lot of those scenes for sure. A lot of good stuff. I yeah. Mean, she had a, she had a great monologue at his funeral. I did not speak at the funeral. So. Right. Uh, because I was too sad. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh yeah. gosh. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Um, have you ever had, te- you're great at tears. Have you ever had a snotty <laughs> cry? I don't know if I've had a, I've have you ever had like, like, no, or are you I'll always t- com- composed in just tears? I'll tell you when that happens is yeah. when after the scene, right? That's when it happens for me. Right. Steve will, Steve will have it. Jason will not. Correct. Yeah. That's an interesting choice. Like, uh, cause yeah. And it is a choice for you, right? Like, like 
Jason won't fully break down or his no, breakdown no, is different I, than yours. I did on I did on Y and R. Now I did, I did fully break down on Y and R. In what so, context? Like what was it, the it, uh, is that the one you won for? You won for Y and R. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I did fully break down there. Yeah. Um here or on GH, I, I don't I don't know if I ever have, quite mm. honestly. But you know, it's it's but it is we've we talked about it before. It is a nice release. Like it's yeah. like when you're working on the stuff, yeah. When you're working on it at home and it's emotional stuff, I, I when I'm working on it, I will get emotional at home while I'm doing it. Oh yeah, of course. Right. And sometimes I gotta just put it down. Yeah. Because I don't want I don't want to to fully cry. Right. Because if I feel like if I fully cry, then I'm not going to be able to fully cry the next day. Mm. Right. So I want to be able to you want to save it, save it, hold it, just have it there ready to go. And then once it happens, then I can walk off set and literally cry. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. When you because there have been times that I've rehearsed for those types of scenes in my dressing room and I, and I have my, my heart's pounding and I'm like, and then I reach a certain place and then I get up on stage and I'm like, Oh, I've been there. I know what to do. And it doesn't come, it doesn't come quite as hard. Uh, it yeah. doesn't come quite as fulsome. Sure. And, uh, and, and yeah, no, it's interesting. It's like, gosh, is it when your body processes it, is that, does it, is that the release that was that you were crafting and did you did you release it too soon? Like I want yeah. You know, well, it's it's interesting. It's because that's an interesting point because you think when you're doing a scene like Sonny's funeral, right, or memorial, you're like, oh, I have to cry here. I have to cry at this funeral at some point, like sure. because that's what people do. That's yeah, well, in theory. you know, and in theory, right? And some people right. don't, right? Some people cried for four days before, right? And they and they hold it together that day for other people, yeah, right? And then they'll go home that night and cry again. But yeah. since we're on the medium where, you know, we want to be the most dramatic we can be. Yeah. And sometimes that puts pressure on the, on, on you as an actor also like, Oh, I got to deliver in this scene, you know? Yeah. So, and we've, I've talked about that years ago where I had a block for a long time. Yeah. Where I put my, put that pressure on myself. Um, but that's, you know, that's not there anymore. Thank God. But um, you know, it's, it's, there's ex you put expectations on yourself on what you think the audience wants to see also. Yeah. Right. So it's an yeah. interesting, it's interesting mind games that you have to play with yourself and you have to trick your body well, because yeah. your body doesn't know that this is not real. Well, but the one thing, one thing that you, that you never plan for that, I guess maybe you hope for is when you're running the stuff by yourself in your dressing room or at home, there's that you get up on stage and then depending on who else is the scene with you, 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 you make eye contact with Laura and it's over game over for me. Right. So th yeah. that, that and, and those are the interesting things that which are great and go back to the relationships that we have on the show and, sure. and, yeah. and with our with our current with our castmates and, and, and sure. our character relationships and all the background all the you know all the histories that our characters have together like Absolutely. that is you know that triggers something in you that you can't practice for and nor should no. you no, practice so, for. right and that's why yeah. we act those are the those yeah. are the moments we act for so yeah but it's um, gonna be a fun night man we're excited for yeah. everybody and yeah uh, Looking well, and what's to... what's exciting for us is now we can uh, we can start doing Emmy chats again. We had yes. a great time. Like, gosh, when we shut down last year, it was right when the Emmys were announced, and boy, did we have a, a great opportunity and, and, and a great reason to to Amazing talk to time. so many of our friends yes. about the good things that were happening to them. And we are excited to start doing that again this year. Uh, we are not soap journalists, as you may know, <laughs> no, um, we're, we're but not. we are soap enthusiasts, and also we are big enthusiasts of our fellow actors and um and and our, the fellow members of our daytime community and so we're excited to lift up whoever we get the opportunity to talk to so um today we get to talk to our good buddy dominic and we're so excited yeah dom Woo! we're very very pleased to have a uh, a nominee a, a nominee for lead actor in a drama series <laughs> dominic zempronia Yo, what's buddy. up dom Woo! What's going yeah on, dude um, yeah, dude. So, so you, I mean, one you, at a time, one at a time. I know, I'm right? trying. We're, we're just I'm trying. We're clamoring. We have so much to ask you. So, yeah. okay. You came back to the show sometime in 2020. You didn't have a full year there, did you? I came back in July, July, the very first day of shooting, I came back. And, uh, but I had some cool stuff, you know, like yeah, I had some yeah. good scenes with Maurice. 
and I had some good scenes with uh, M and my mom and stuff like that. Right. And so when time came to submit, I wasn't going to, but they said, well, you're kind of in the same boat as everyone else because everyone's we've been dark for five months. Oh, so that's you, right. You, it's, I never yeah, thought you about wouldn't that. have that much less to, to submit than anyone else. So I was like, okay, yeah. I'll do supporting again. They said, no, Frank wants you to do a lead. And I, I was like, well, I, and, and, you know, we talked in the past about who submits typically for lead actor and who doesn't yeah. submit for lead actor. And, you know, Brad, you and I, we've always kind of done best supporting, right? Right. Yeah. And, I mean, what, what is, what was the metric in your head? Like, well, or, you, you know what I mean? My, my, I talked to Frank. I said, you, you really think I should? And he's like, yeah. He said, you're a leading man and you should be submitting for as such. And I said, well, I said, okay, I just don't know that people who've been voting for everyone for years sure. are going to vote for me because I'm kind of the dude making the jump. And he's like, well, then just call it, consider it like a laying the groundwork for next year, you know? And yeah. uh, then it worked out. Yeah. That's, a, that's pretty, that's interesting because it wasn't probably for me until the last couple years that I made the jump to lead. Well, I was going to really? say, I thought you always did lead. No, no I was, we remember we were up, I don't know if you were in that year too, but I was up against yeah, was. him. Yeah. That yeah. Year so that we were all up against each other. And I was like, this yeah. feels weird. Yeah, yeah, yes. that was weird. And, I and, forgot about that. And the reason it was when guess, he was on Y and R, though, I think, right? It might have been. Yeah, because yeah. I the, think the last time I was nominated was like thirteen or fourteen, and you had just gone. Yeah, that was been that year. Yeah, yeah. So the the weird thing is because when I was on GH, you know, I, it was always it was always Tony and Maurice. You knew they were getting in, right? And at that point, it, it was only two people who could get in. Oh, there was a cap, a cap for each show? show. Yeah, there was a cap in per show per per category. At that time, you would never see four people from General Hospital as leading leading man. Well, and how many nomin how many shows would be, how many nominees total were there back then? Same five, six, six five or six, yeah. So, huh. so two can leave the building in each category, right? At that, even in sub even supporting because that's every, such a huge. In, I don't know if it was supporting. All I know is. Yeah, because, but for me in my head, I was like, well, yeah, I work every day. But and at that time, also, you were based on if you had two good shows, two full shows, like right. I'd have one full show and the next show I'd have two scenes and then I'd be hiding behind a bush for four scenes. And, no, and <laughs> you with, have to but show with it, but with it, but with a cool gun. Yeah, but you would have to show that to the person voting. Right. Right. And the people would be like, why is this guy in the bush? Right. You know, right. and then that you can't be a lead actor hiding in a bush. <laughs> so I was like, I, I just don't know when. And then I made the leap one time, one year, I think when Tony didn't put himself in, they go, hey, Tony's not put himself in. You can put yourself in and whatever. So now it's different. We know that. And I think that's probably this, the right move. I don't think there was a wrong move for you, by the way, Dom, um, personally, in my opinion. But well, lead, lead actor is awesome. Lead, lead actor is great to be that nominated and lead is awesome. So good for you. Yeah. Yeah, and and congrats to you too, dude. Um, Thanks, man. It feels kind of funny to have you asking me questions about mine when you're right there too, which is awesome. Well, and, I'm uh, dude. I'm excited. You know, I, I've always been a huge fan of yours. I'm glad you came back to the show. Thanks, man. And 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 I and you know, Maurice, I know has amazing material because of the story with Mike. Uh, but secretly, I'm hoping for you. <laughs> did you? Did you, <laughs> did you watch? Well, oh, Maurice, Maurice basically just got to do the same thing that won him won it for him the year before right so he's he's yeah. gonna be a favorite for sure because oh, that, for sure it, if, if it won it for him last time it might just win it for him again you know 100 percent. yeah because i'm still not clear on who voted this time because so, did you vote i voted yeah but bradford voted right. a cat what category did you vote brad i don't i don't want to say okay great yeah oh. so yeah. anyway but what i heard in the beginning from this when they were asking everyone to vote they're like hey you can vote but you're not going to be voting for soap opera for your for soap operas. Oh, you're not even voting for soap operas. Well, that's that's what, what they, they say. say. That's, that's what, what they say. said in the beginning when you know because things change so much. But oh. then, so I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe we're getting fresh eyes on all our stuff, right? Yeah, right. That would be cool. Where where people are like, hey, I've never seen Dom before. This is this guy's awesome. Wow. Right. Without mm -hmm. any bias at all, watching someone, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, we know this person's been on the show twenty years. We know they can do it. Maybe not this year. They didn't have the best material, but we're going to put them in anyway because that crap yeah. happens. We all know that. Sure. So, 
So, but it's interesting. I, I'm interested to see actually who did all the voting. Like, I don't still don't know. So I'm, I'm vote, not, I'm did you vote for a soap opera category? Yes, did you I did, and Bradford did. did. Yes, after I, all. I, I did vote for, for soap operas. Okay. Yeah, for an acting category yeah. too. So it's not like I was. Oh, yeah. So it was. You know, I don't know. Well, I, kind of I, I kind of expected like I'd get like children's show program or a cooking show. Right. Like I, I expected yeah. to be really kind of you know put in the in the the washing machine of categories and nope. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So that you so know, what it, I mean, the other thing, the other thing yeah. for me for submitting, like, just go back to that other thing. It was like to to try, to try and gear yourself up for putting yourself in a new category. Like, I, I did have the thought once I got past, like, you know, I are people going to vote for me? I, I I didn't care at that point. I was just like, let's just go for it. You know, like, yeah. mm-hmm. if you think you have something, I'm not a fan of submitting for anything unless I truly feel like I can hang. I, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt like I could in either category just because I felt like my tape was decent, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, but, I mean, do you know what, do you remember, like, what's, so the storylines, I guess you said, you said you had storylines with, with, uh, with Maurice yeah, with and Mo, with your mom and, and, uh, and yeah. Yeah. With Maurice and M and, and uh, it was mostly Maurice and M and, and maybe a scene with, with Lisa sprinkled in there. But do, I feel like our shows become like a very um, ensemble show. Which yeah. is great. And, and it, which is great, which, which means like anybody could, Put in for, oh yeah, for I mean it's not always it's year, not always you know? great for it's not always great for Emmy tapes when it's like when it's well, those big it, group it, scenes. Yeah, yeah, the, right. it, the group scenes, but it does give someone more of an opportunity who may yeah. not be working, you know, even three days a week, where right. they go, "Wow, I had four killer scenes," yeah. like, and they're from all four different shows, and they could put it in a little compilation and be like, "Wow, that's that that guy, that girl's awesome." Let's yeah. let's vote. Yeah, you and know? you can make your tape like a little mini story Real. arc you to- know yes you can even yes. if they are oh, yeah. unrelated you mean no well, i don't I'm... know if they're unrelated like my stuff was all related like i got yeah. home, my, my scene was with sunny in the church and then i went from sunny in the church to lulu's house and then lulu's house to the 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 floating rib with her and then i was at the hospital with sunny after the floating ribs been blown up and then i was at her bedside and then that was it awesome oh, okay dude. yeah that's yeah. great so i had a yeah. i had a, a path, linear you know yeah yeah yeah, and no, I was like, this no, kind no. of feels like something you could submit for a lead actor, you know? Yeah, that right. you you had a yeah. story to tell, and that's great, right. and that right. and that could help a lot of times yeah. too. But what's funny, dude, is I remember now that you said that it was that scene. I go, I go, dude, because I I came up to you after those scenes, and you did that. Oh, with, yeah. with right. I go, dude, you did an awesome job. He's like, thanks. I go, how did you not laugh at the freaking Christmas light hat? Like how and you were laughing. Yeah. I know. I was like, you're I don't like, know how. Like, I don't know. The Reese were like, this guy's trying to win an every reel here, and there's like R two D two on the. I know. I mean, I mean, why it's, do? Wait, <laughs> were they trying to give Lulu Drew's brain too? I don't know what was going on, dude. But she had the same Christmas lights on that Franco did. That cap was worn by both of them, like literally within two days. It's like yeah, we rented and I'm like, that cap for 28, 24 I, hours, and we had to shoot everybody <laughs> who needed that cap for like twenty four hours. This cap is distracting. <laughs> It's distracting. It yeah, it was. So, so that, but, I mean, hey, good, every man. time, hey, dude, the last time I had to do a scene like that, Maurice, Maurice came up to me. It was when it was when Julie left and Lou and and M showed up, and she got Julie got frozen and M got thaw and she got fraud and M was the new Lulu. She got fraud. And no, fraud, but she she did thawed. freeze and yeah. thawed out to a new she Lulu. She froze and then thawed and then was the new That's Lulu. Amazing. But the background was like. It looked like something from like the 1970s version of Battlestar Galactica. You know? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> amazing. And Maurice was making fun of me. He's like, you did great, but you can't, you can't put that on a tape. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in a spaceship. Yeah. That's funny, dude. So that's um, funny. what if, if, okay. So say you win. What is the first thing Maurice says to you? If you win, why did you thank uh, I, me? <laughs> yeah you got it right because i was gonna say he's gonna ignore me for maybe five days <laughs> like he did after the after the nominations came out i don't think he sent me anything that said anything about not, like he just kept sending us boxing text messages yeah we're all we're all in a group text yeah it's funny I, yeah oh, i got it so, yeah, so it was, yeah he'll either ask me why i didn't thank him or he's not gonna even acknowledge it for like a week until it gets real awkward yeah well you That's know it's funny, funny uh we those text chains came up on the road because i i think either either i'm not on the text chain anymore but i remember steve was like oh 
Another Here text they chain. come. It's like Maurice, you, Chad, and Josh yeah. talking about boxing. Yeah, boxing and, uh, and fighting. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we used to make fun of Chad a lot too on there, but I don't. Think well, it was the Chad appreciation post. Yeah, yeah, I, we were pre- yeah. or chain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so more, how did your more, trip go over there? Oh, it was, it was awesome, man. It was awesome, man. Yeah, we had a, we had a lot yeah, of good time. We missed we missed you, but you know, yeah, it was pretty. I wasn't invited. Yeah, that's no. I just mean being away from you was hard. Oh. Understand. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was great, man. Everybody, it was awesome. We had a great time. That's cool. and, you know. Yeah. But more importantly, you got a haircut. You got a hair. You got a haircut. So let's talk because hair is very important to me. And, I can uh, tell. Look I like your. Right now. I like your long hair. I mean, you look good this way. For well, it's sure. still long, bro. Yeah. Oh, but, look at that. But I know you were going for Teen Wolf when you came back. Like I told you, you had a beard and you had a freaking little. I loved can you your imagine hair. Imagine if dude. I wore my. Can you imagine if I wore my gold chains. Oh, that's that would be my dream. That was a missed opportunity. That would be oh, my dream. For sure, that would for be sure. my dream. Rebranding so, the Dante rebranding, like long hair, fa- beard, gold chains, bring oh, them back. It was amazing, dude. But, you're like like a '70s cop, dude, in a freaking movie. It's amazing. Yeah, dude. That's right. Was amazing. that was the was the keeping the hair long and and then the 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 cutting of it was that like him. You know, because when he came back from the facility, he was dealing with some stuff. And and is was the haircut kind of like symbolic of him making progress? You think, or does it matter? Yeah, I, I well, I think that's I think the 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 plainest way to put it is that they wanted the haircut. To, they wanted the, like a noticeable shift in this guy's demeanor. So they said, yeah. And he said, awesome. a perfect day will be when you get your badge, give it back to you. You're going to show up with. Uh, actually, it was a shower sequence where I'm a, I'm in a steamy shower by myself. Yeah, that's a hot. That's hot. That's hot, bro. Whoa, watch and, out! Uh, and I and I come out and wipe the mirror and and I've got the haircut. But what's funny is like, I look like a completely different person. Yeah, it's amazing, dude. It's a good look, like dude. It's, it's a great well, look. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. it. But it, it's kind of yeah. weird. Like most people still look like they're the same person when they right. do this. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, it's like, true. I look like a. Well, it's been a. It, well, it's been a long. <laughs> yeah. They're like, who's playing Dante now? Yeah. Today, the role of Domin- the, the role of Dante whatever, will be played by whatever oh, his name wait. is. It's still Dominic Sempronio. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Even the voiceover, even the voiceover, like, even like, the voiceover wow. person gets confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that um, would be funny, actually. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that yeah, that's amazing. I mean, and you had that for a long time. So that might, was it a shift to you, or did it matter? Uh, it was kind of a shift. I really enjoyed not having it. To be honest. It oh, feels sure. Nice. It's a lot less work. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is kind of a lot less work. I mean, I wasn't putting a lot of work into it, man. Let's face it; it didn't well, look like I was yeah. doing a lot of work with it. No. But, but I feel like for, <laughs> but I feel like for for the character, I don't know, man. There's something about when when you have stuff like that, it 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 adds to what you you do. And here here's where I'll tell you where it adds to it, like because you look like a badass with the freaking beard and the long hair, yeah. right? So yeah. if they let you be a badass. Yes, that's awesome, right? Yes, but the PCPD doesn't have the best reputation of doing anything. So now that you're clean yeah. cut, eh, you don't look. I like gotta tell a you, freaking badass, you, not doing stuff. When so you were hope, berating me in the when stuff. you were yeah when you were berating me in the interrogation room, I tell you the the you know the wild man look was working for you. <laughs> oh yeah, those were fun scenes, man. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they were pretty cool. Like and yeah, there's things like that that I feel like you can. Well, they they also when you're when you're supposed to be all messed up and 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 you appear messed up, the writers write more messed up, you know. And when you look like this, and you're got the badge back, you it's harder to get away with. So I'm trying to find ways to keep the messed up in this without looking that way and without it being written for me. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. So. It, yeah. Without trying to like manipulate too much of the material, like you're still trying to keep in mind where this dude came came from. Because, right. I mean, we all have memories from childhood, wherever, which is like, oh, like it's almost like they're not PTSD, but they're negative memories that maybe you have from your past. You know what I mean? That yeah. doesn't matter how clean shaven or what you do now, those never leave you, right? That stuff For always sure. is a part of who you are. So, yeah. So I'm trying to incorporate that in, but it's really tough when they, when. When they like when you become a cop on this show, like you, you really, yeah. you really follow the line, you know, to the sure. letter. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know it, they, it, they they definitely have an opportunity down the road, um, to you know, to make you uh, you know, a cop that might cross the line, 
a little more than usual to get some things done because you you have a little bit of a screw loose or a temper where you're like, you know, that's what my, you know, you call it street justice, right? You don't never know. Yeah. You just got to go, oh, you want a little karma? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a detective, but I'm here to give you a little something, right. you know? Like, so like, you're not, you're not like, you're not like, uh, um, um, oh my God. Um, Denzel and uh, Ethan Hawke level. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that, that, yes, I totally get what you're saying. Why am I having a brain fart on the name of the damn movie? Wow, that's weird. Uh, uh, training day. Uh, training training day. day. Yeah. You're not, you're not like that level of, of corruptness. Sure. You're just a little walking the line a little bit, you know, yeah. and, well, and maybe dipping to the other side where you're saying, I got to get this done, you know? Well, because I mean, the opportunity I there, the opportunity is, and I, I could be misreading this, but to have, like if the PCPD is is strong and is a true foil or foe to whatever Sonny and Jason and whatever the else the other interests have, that that push and pull is interesting, especially since you sure, guys are related. But if you if you are not as hindered by the rules as it were, then you are a more formidable foe. Um, and which would open the door to them getting off anyway, because everything. if you do something uh, not above board as a cop and their lawyers are able to get them off because of a procedural thing that they caught you doing, you know, right. then, then they don't have to put them like Jason and, and Maurice don't have, uh, and Sonny don't have to go into a jail cell, right. You know, for a jail right. story, which no one wants to see, you know, like, <laughs> right. Well, True. I think it's been done. Like I think you guys have yeah. been in jail and yeah, no, and they, I know they've said yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. don't yeah. really want to put, I don't, I don't think they want to put you guys in jail, not yeah. fans. I mean, writers, Frank, like, I don't yeah. think they ever, want you guys to be in jail for no. very long you know what i mean sure no i yeah. think there's i think there's definitely uh a lot of opportunity to do a cool kind of you know disturbed cop that that might you know take justice into his own hands to get what he wants right yeah. so yeah and i, I think mean it's a, you know what i think it's cool if, if there's things that come up with and i don't know where they're going with dante and sam but but you know that's a moment where there could be something down the line where where things get kind of kind of hairy you know and Sure. And who knows where that pushes people. But yeah. Um, yeah. before I forget, Bradford, I told my yeah. uncle I was going to talk with you guys. And he said, I just love that Spinelli. I love that Spinelli. He is such a great character. You have a great talk with those guys. I think he's just fantastic. I'm like, oh, that's, I'll tell him. That's really that's nice. I love that. I love yeah, that. Awesome. Tell, tell your uncle I, I'm, I'm gr grateful. That's amazing. I will. Well, he hates well, here... the Red Sox too. But, you know. Anyway. That's okay. All right. All well, right. here, here's where we'll wrap up because, you know, we, we thank you for your time. But there, we do a bit in our show. Bradford opens the show for us and he'll say things, you know, he'll do a toast to a bunch of different things. He'll go uh, General Hospital, 56 years. Yay. Uh, Mayor yeah. Laura. Yay. And then yeah. he goes, Dante came home. Biggest scream there was from everybody, dude. Amazing. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. We always get a gauge of things when we say things. And yeah, that yeah, yeah. always, and that got a huge freaking scream, bro. So, so really? you, fans yeah. Love, yeah, the fan, Thank honestly you. do every night I hear it. I wait for it. Dante's back. Woo! So we're yeah. like, this is awesome, dude. So thank you. Yeah. Man. Uh, well, thank you for, thank you for letting me know. Cause you guys could not have let me know that just to <laughs> keep the hair from getting too big, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that's right, buddy. And I gotta say they, they cheered the haircut too. Cause that was part of the bit too. Yeah. So they, they cheered, cheered the, the haircut, haircut too. Oh, did so, they? Yeah. So. So, so two for two for two. Unlike everything's coming, everything's coming up roses for Dominic. That's right. Sweet. That's right. Yes. So uh, congrats again, man. Well Thanks, deserved. Brother. It's going to be a fun night to cheer for everybody, but it's yeah, uh, it's, it's, awesome. it's wonderful to see our friends and people we uh, we love to root for. We're in there. the game. Uh, we're in the game, yeah, Dom. We're in yeah, the game. We're, we're in it, and and we had so many nominations, man. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah pretty it, amazing. It's just exciting. Yeah. yeah totally and uh, and and Steve, it's it's you know I I love the fact that I, I, some people. And I don't think it's weird that we're up against each other. I was just like, it's funny that you're interviewing me because I should be, we should, you know, interviewing you <laughs> it's too. It's fine, though. No. But, but I just mean like, I think it's really awesome that we're up against each other. I don't think that should ever not happen, especially now when you got four, sh four shows left. Yeah, dude, three, for sure. three nominees to come from the same show. That's great because you still have just as many people submitting as submitted back then when there were Absolutely. 10 shows. 100%. Yeah. They're just coming from six yeah. fewer shows. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, dude. I think it's, it's a huge honor, man, and I and yeah. I love the fact that we're in there together. So awesome, man! I appreciate you, dude. Awesome. Me well, too, thanks man. for joining us, buddy, and uh, it's always a delight to catch up with you. Always. Thanks. Always, thanks, guys. Buddy.